Here we're going to take a look at this Nikon F2 35mm film SLR camera body and this is an all mechanical except for the meter up in the DP1 head that's up here. Everything is mechanical and we're going to step down through these shutter speeds starting at one two thousandth of a second and then we go to one one thousandth, one five hundredth, one two fiftieth, one one twenty fifth, one sixtieth, one thirtieth, one fifteenth, one eighth, one quarter second, one half second, and one full second. And we'll do that again. It's pretty smooth. And the bulb setting where the mirror stays up and the uh, shutter stays open as long as I hold the button down and we can see straight through to the pressure plate there and it looks pretty good inside. Um, this cam camera does also have a, uh, a self timer and so you can see just a little bit sluggish but it does does run okay and it's got the stop down preview there and also mirror lockup that we can do there so you can take those pictures without the slap of that mirror can put that back down uh, this uh, the metering head does come off and you can change it and, and uh, screens this is the DP1 and the prism looks really nice and clean and clear and uh, it's got a little bit of wear on it but not too bad these were professional cameras and they were meant to be banged around a bit and they usually were this one's probably in better shape than most of them I've seen uh, it's a serial number 7218396 which is a code for 1972 so it is 45 years old and we can snap the prism housing back on there. And uh, everything's all set there. Um, we can open up the back here. And we can watch the film transport is working. The shutter is working. Very smooth film advance. Um, door hinge looks okay. A um, little bit of stickiness along the door edges. Not not real bad, but uh, indication that uh, light seals may need to be replaced here at some point, but not too bad. Back closes properly, and then this one, to stow that back like that. Uh, it was placed for our motor drive unit, looks like here. So all in all, pretty good example of this uh, Nikon F2 camera. A very good all-mechanical camera, except for batteries needed for the light meter. And I did verify that the meter responds to light when I put a battery in. There's no battery included. But I did check and with the lens and, and was able to get the meter needle to uh, center up.